Hi everybody, this is Shane R. Monroe, and in this video, we're going to show you how to consume 3D movies inside your Oculus Quest, starting with ripping them from your disk, putting them on your Plex server and configuring them for viewing, running Skybox, and enjoying your 3D movies right on your Oculus Quest. Now, there's many ways to obtain 3D content. We're not going to go into any other way other than using DVD Fab to rip your own, legally rip your own Blu-ray 3D movies. But uh, if you already have existing 3D content, this video will help you out as well. Well, let's get started right now by showing you how to get content off your 3D Blu-ray discs uh, onto your hard drive for consumption on your Oculus Quest. All right, everybody, welcome to the part where we're going to show you how to rip your own 3D movies off of Blu-ray. We're going to be using uh, the Tron Legacy 3D box set for this, and we're going to be using DVD Fab. DVD Fab's not cheap, but the thing works, and it works well. Uh, the first thing we're going to want to do is make sure you've got a 3D profile selected. So you can go to Video, Filter on 3D, and you see a whole bunch of different 3D profiles. Uh, I would suggest for the moment that you simply stick with the 3D MKV profile, which is what we're going to be using. And we're going to go ahead and insert that disc. Now remember, uh, in your country, ripping your own Blu-rays uh, could be considered illegal. Uh, your mileage may vary. I am not responsible for your actions, etc., etc. And the disc is now being read. And if the disc has been uh, read before, it'll go up to their cloud and check. If somebody else has ripped this disc, then it won't have to go through all the labor-intensive nonsense of going through the copy protection and all that good stuff. So we'll just let this go ahead and run its course. So we're using the uh, Blu-ray Ripper module from DVD Fab. Right now, I think there's still a Black Friday sale going on at the time of the video, so you might want to jump in and get in on that deal. Okay, so what we have here is a defaults to the full movie, which is all 20 chapters. It's currently set for high quality. We do have a 3D MKV profile set. We're just going to go ahead and rip one chapter. We're going to grab chapter four, and we're going to go through chapter four to chapter four. So that's, that's one, one single chapter. And you can, of course, uh, select um, different audio tracks, subtitle tracks, all that good stuff. And you can choose what sort of quality you want. Chapter 4 is pretty small, so it's only going to be 204 megabytes. Once again, we verified our profile, and we're ready to go. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and let this thing process. Uh, depending on how long the movie is, of course, you'll want to rip the whole movie, probably not just one chapter. But for the sake of the tutorial, we'll just do one. That can take a good amount of time to do this. So as soon as this thing gets started, we'll get a time estimate for you so you can see what that looks like. And then we'll go ahead and pause this video and we'll come back when it's done ripping. Okay, so it's uh, just about a minute and a half. That's not too bad. Chapter four must be pretty small. I, re I ripped chapter three last time for those of you wondering. I guess we can just sit here then for the moment. Uh, it's going pretty quick. So what this is doing right now is it's taking the 3D picture uh, or the 3D video from the disc and it's moving it into a side-by-side -side, uh, video. So what that means is one eye goes on the left side and one eye goes on the right side. And you'll see that in a minute when we bring it back up. I'll show you what the video looks like after it's done processing, which will be in just a moment. Sorry about that. In the meantime, I'll get the video ready over here. And we're done. No pause required. The disc ejects. Thank you so much. And we're done. Poof. All right, let's see what that guy looks like, shall we? turn that down and there we go so this is what this looks like after we've ripped it which is perfect it's side by side which is exactly what we want one eye on one side one eye on the other great that's it we've ripped our 3d content we've stored it somewhere now we're going to use our plex server to uh, create a movies 3d folder to serve it up we're going to turn on dlna 
from the Plex options, and uh, then we're going to consume it with our quest. Let's move along to the next step, shall we? All right, we're now inside of our Plex Media server. As you can see, it's actually already set up. We've got a whole bunch of content in there already. What we need to do is to make sure that we're serving up media as a DLNA server, and of course, make a Movies 3D folder that we can look at once we get into Skybox VR. So first things first, let's go to Settings. Go click the little Settings icon up there. We're going to go down to DLNA. And we're going to make sure that Enable the DLNA Server is checkmarked. That stands for Digital Living Network Alliance. It's basically a really fancy way of saying this is a media share. It's a special share across the network just for media files. You don't need to worry about that. Just make sure you checkmark that box. Now we're going to go ahead and create a new library, a new folder, if you will, to hold our 3D. Click the little plus up here to add a new library. We're going to select Movies, and we're going to call it Movies 3D. Nothing special. Next. And now we need to browse where we put all of our 3D content. In my case, I put this on the S drive under my Movies 3D folder. And as you can see, my movies are here that I've ripped from my collection previously. Click Add. Oh, and add again. There we go. Awesome. Now uh, Plex is going to go through its process of parsing the movie and adding box art and all the actors and all the other good, cool metadata that we love Plex so much for doing for us. We don't have to do any of that setup on our own. And we're just going to let this sit and parse through these movies so that we're all ready once we get into Skybox VR under the Oculus Quest. One last one to go. Let's move it along here. Get the light out. Just take your time. Nothing going on here. All right, let's get on with the next step, shall we? Actually consuming your Plex video and content, including 3D content, right here inside your Oculus Quest. You obviously need a little tool called Skybox VR Video Player. That's what's going to give you the power of consuming your Plex media server content right here within the Oculus Quest itself. Free tool, Plex is free, this is free, low cost of ownership here. Once you're inside of Skybox, go to Network. You'll see all of your network sources, including Windows File Shares. That should give you a couple of ideas, uh, as well as your Plex Media Server. Now, I've got two Plex servers here. That's, don't get confused. This is my NAS. I use this for testing, and this is my final production level uh, Plex server, if you will. Now, if, you're, uh, if your listing doesn't look exactly the same, you can jump up here, and you can, I, I don't like that grid view. That bothers me. I like a nice, clean list. You sort by ascending, descending, however you like. So let's just jump in, right? So we're going to jump into Plex, and you see your major three shares, video, music, and photos, provided you have those shared inside of Plex. Inside videos, you see all of your Plex shares, as well as the one that we created earlier, Movies 3D. Let's jump in there, and there's all sorts of different ways you can look at it, but let's just do all. All right, there we go. They're all in here, all of the files that I added uh, previously. And we're just going to jump right on in. So we click on Doctor Strange. And of course, I've already been in here. Let me just do a replay here. Now, you may come in the first time you're watching a video, you may come into this. In fact, you probably will. Uh, these settings for each video are saved after you watch them, so this won't happen again once you set it. This is side-by-side -side video, so there's two different screens being shown at the same time. You need one per eye. So we're just going to go ahead and hit the right trigger, go to stereo mode, side-by-side. -side. And now you can see we're good. Now we have full 3D. Let me jump ahead a little bit. Obviously, you can't this see that it's in 3D because uh, you're in a 2D screen, but I assure you this looks absolutely great. You can also do some other good stuff in here. If you go to advanced settings, there's aspect ratio, curve displays. You can actually rotate. For some reason, maybe you shot 3D video off of your camera, and for some reason it just generated as rotating. You can rotate it here without having to re-encode it. You can change the 3D offset. If the video looks a little weird to you, it could just be because of the resolution or something strange. Just go in here, you can slide this slider a little bit, and it changes sort of the offset of those of the uh, video between your two eyes. Believe me, it can make a difference on some movies. And some other stuff, you know, standard stuff, brightness, saturation. Oh, playback speed, if you want to watch it just a little bit faster, get through that movie just to pass it as well. It's great. Uh, subtitle and track over here, so for some reason you have to be watching the variant subtitle.
subtitles, you can shut those off. Uh, track, if you're not watching it in English, maybe you want to watch it in full setting, you have the audio track. And you can also alter the synchronization of the audio track, and for whatever reason, it happens to be off. Hey, all sorts of crazy things happen when you're ready to go. Alright, there you go. So that's pretty much it. Now, you're not just limited, of course, to watching 3D stuff from your Plex server. I can go right in here. I can go to, say, my music videos. And I could watch music videos on the big screen in the theater setting, right? Uh, so I've spent many, many years collecting music videos over time. Um, so uh, let's see, what's not going to get me made fun of? Probably nothing. Everything will get me made fun of. I'm a child of the 80s, folks. All right, how about some black eyed peas? I don't think anybody would get too upset by that. So as you can see, um, the, obviously the quality is a lot lower. And if you were here with me, you'd see that this is Gotta get get. Idea, of course. Gotta, Gotta get, get. So uh, there you go. And I can sit here and watch music videos. How great is that, right? Oh, it's also my, you see my playback speech is stuck. I was wondering why I was running a big play. There we go. So there, there you have it. I mean, so you can watch your own 2D films, your own 2D music videos, your own TV, anything you want off your Plex server. It's a great solution to being able to consume your content right within Plex and using your Oculus Quest. Well, listen, I hope you enjoyed it. Please uh, like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe to Monroe World Videos. We do tons of great stuff, Switch stuff, Quest stuff, PC stuff, VR, not VR, you name it. We, uh, we do a little bit of everything. So I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, thank you so much for watching. Please uh, go ahead and follow me at medium.com slash at darkuni as well. I write lots of articles uh, about the Quest and uh, lots of good tech articles for those who are into that sort of thing. All right, thank you very much for watching, and uh, we'll talk to you next time. My name is Shane Armandro. Thanks for watching.